Architecture is more than just building new structures. It's about uncovering and understanding designs, designs inherent within our world, and how we interact with those designs. We examine its core elements, its principles, and even philosophical concepts, and how they shape our environments. Architecture stands at the intersection of art and science, turning ideas into concrete and tangible realities. It reflects our values and our cultural identities, while having a profound and ongoing impact on our daily lives. We will discuss the nature of architecture, regardless of physical or conceptual or digital form, its intrinsic characteristics and universal qualities, and how architecture can be perceived both as a process and as a tangible output of that process. The essence of architecture is found in its fundamental elements and universal principles, reflecting human values and cultural identities and shaping both the physical and digital spaces where interactions happen. Architecture begins with basic elements, such as space, form, function, and the components that make up the architecture. Space defines how areas are organized and how entities interact within them. Form is the shape and configuration of structures that give them their distinct identities. Function refers to the purpose and utility of a structure or space. Components are the foundational elements or technologies used in the implementation of physical or digital structures. Architecture includes universal principles such as consistency, harmony, unity, balance, proportion, and scale, among others. Consistency creates uniformity and enables predictability within an architecture. Harmony ensures all elements of an architecture work together cohesively. Unity ensures that all components of an architecture work together as a whole. Balance distributes elements evenly to achieve stability and equilibrium within an architecture. Proportion relates to the parts of an architecture relative to the whole. Scale addresses the size or the impact of elements in relation to each other within an architecture. Architecture is not only technical in nature, but also philosophical, to the degree that architecture is deeply intertwined with human values and cultural identities. Being aware of the philosophical perspectives on architecture enables us to gain a deeper understanding of how architecture goes beyond the balance of form and function to serve as a reflection of our own collective human experience. Architecture embodies the ideals and aspirations of humans. It's a mirror to what we value and how we prioritize what matters to us, from innovation and enabling our potential to preserving tradition and beauty. Different cultures, whether societal, corporate, or something else altogether, influence architectural styles and practices. The diversity in both physical and conceptual architectural designs across the globe showcases the impact of unique cultural identities on organizations, communities, and entire societies. Architecture shapes the spaces where entities exist and interact. The design of spaces and structures affects our behaviors, our feelings, and how we interact with the world around us, which highlights the profound but sometimes hidden impact both physical and digital architectures have on our daily lives. Architecture can be thought of as both a process of creating new structures as well as the observation of existing ones. This dual perspective can show us how architecture both shapes and is shaped by the environment it interacts with by understanding architecture as a tangible reality. Both through the lens of observing architecture and physically constructing architecture, we can gain visibility into the underlying principles that govern the built environment and how it interacts with the world around it. Architecture isn't always about building something new from the ground up. Sometimes it's about discovering and describing the design inherent within existing structures and flows. Observable architecture involves studying and understanding structures that already exist. In many cases, architectures have emerged organically and evolved over time that may not have been intended or even known. By decomposing existing structures, the core design principles, the purpose, can be inferred and documented. Analyzing the underlying components and the ways in which they are interconnected will reveal critical patterns, dependencies, and feedback loops. 
in its most concrete form, figuratively speaking, architecture refers to the physical structures and buildings that are designed and constructed. This can include many things, from houses and skyscrapers to bridges and monuments. Beyond individual buildings, architecture also encompasses the entire built environment, from urban design to infrastructure systems to even landscape architecture. These physical entities can be seen, they can be touched, shaping the spaces in which we live, work, learn, and play. Sure, architecture can be something tangible that we can see or touch for ourselves, but it can also be about the ideas, the plans, the designs, the visualizations, and other representations that guide the creation of structures. These conceptual representations could include drawings, models, diagrams, or specifications that capture the intent of the architecture, enabling the translation of ideas into reality. Drawings can be informal, such as flip chart drawings or or whiteboard drawings, or they could be more formal in the form of CAD drawings or blueprints. Models could be multi-dimensional physical or digital representations of the architecture and its design. Diagrams provide a logical way of representing a design in a manner that best describes the interaction between the structures and flows supported by the arrangement and functioning of the underlying components of an architecture. Specifications detail the constraints, functional and non-functional requirements, patterns, methods, to the implementation of the architecture and its design. You don't just magically jump from planning to having fully implemented structures. There is a dynamic and iterative multi-stage process. By understanding architecture as a design process, we can start to understand the complexity, creativity, and collaboration involved in transforming ideas and high-level concepts into tangible and usable structures. There are both artistic and scientific elements to the design process, what we refer to as the art and science. Design oftentimes requires collaboration across multiple disciplines, balancing the aesthetics and visual impact of architecture with the technical, engineering, organizational, and scientific aspects. And beyond the art and science, design requires collaboration among the stakeholders with vested interests in the resulting architecture. This could include multiple organizations, domains, departments, functions, or teams. A key aspect of the design process is that it's iterative in nature, involving feedback and revisions. Progress is incremental. Sometimes it takes many iterations to get a design right. Sometimes plans and designs are based on assumptions that turn out to be incorrect. Sometimes plans and designs can change based on unexpected results or critical feedback. And sometimes you just discover new and better ways of doing things along the way. No matter the reason, design will always be iterative and it will always take exactly exactly as long as it needs to. There are no shortcuts. Good architectural design takes time and patience and discipline.